Hey there, girl with MS. How are we today? Oh, gorgeous morning today. Just getting into a nice breathing, stretching moment here. just feels really good. I woke up feeling uh, a little stiff, but not, not, ex not, ex not bad, not bad. Say pain-wise, that level was relatively low. But what's interesting is while my balance feels pretty good for me, um, well, okay, maybe not, but it could be worse. Um, we go. But what, what's interesting is how much my muscles are having to overwork to achieve this balance. And what we want to find is a way to achieve this balance with the least amount of effort going into it. If we can find ways to live our life with the least amount of effort, the most grace, least power, I think it will help us all learn to thrive in life and thrive with our, you know, learn to live better with our illnesses. Um, I know for me and my MS, the more I learn to live with less effort, the more I can do because my battery, which is, seems to be running on low bat half the time, can be extended because I'm not running with all these programs in the background, you know, like we do with our iPhones or whatever phone we're using. So learning to do things with the least amount of effort mm, requires awareness. <laughs> I guess that's it. Awareness until it becomes intuitive, which is what we want. Yeah. I'm just slowly breathing here, bringing my body and my breathing, my spirit together. When I'm inhaling, I'm just just lifting the chest. I have such a habit to slouch during the day. I sit at the computer, I sit in the car, I walk. Um, so just, you know, it's not shoulders up, it's this breathing up into our spine, into our chest, up into our head. Ooh, the ballerina. Do, do. Okay, we won't try that, but right now I just feel like my body wants to open that my joints just want to kind of get moving and um, you know <laughs> I have to be careful I have a <coughs> beam behind me there You know, movement is highly underrated because it doesn't take much to get the body going. I don't need to go walk, you know, run a mile or go on a treadmill or go to a gym. I can just take a few minutes to myself and wake up some very important parts of my body. And in the meantime, Get into a good rhythm for the day. So as I like to practice or be aware of is my breathing and how when I breathe I fill every part of my body with oxygen and as I exhale I push it all out. little stiff today. That's okay. Compassion. This is where the compassion comes in. Oh, slowly 
stretching. And I thought I'd be able to get closer to the ground the second time around, but. When I roll up, I like to think of each vertebrae slowly, you know, like one of those old roller desks, and you slide up, you know, and you try to separate each vertebrae and make yourself longer and taller, but stack each vertebrae as you roll up. Feels really good, that one simple move. You know, if that's all I do today, I do some stretching here. My uh, shoulders can use some, I can feel it all opening up. At the same time, I'm gonna kind of stretch out here a little bit. I was going to start mixing exercises and then I didn't realize that that would be good, but I don't like that because it puts your body in an odd twist. So really it's probably better to focus on one before moving to the other. But here, this is a good one. And you can see how I'm, I'm trying to relax, trying to relax this shoulder down and keep my head up, and my chest up. Eventually, whoa, okay, check this out. Ooh. Okay, <coughs> not the best form, but I didn't think we'd be going here today. That's enough, gentle, 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 gentle. Ah. <laughs> Could you imagine having eight of these like you were an octopus? Okay. Then we'll do the other arm again. Let's see what how it wants to go. Now you cannot compare one arm to the other. You can't even compare really one day to the next except for your own analysis. We're not here for competition and we're not here to push ourselves. We're here to gently open up our body and to listen to it and to respond to what it's saying. This feels pretty good on this side. I don't, you know, I have such odd shoulders. They're a little, <coughs> you know, problems with the shoulder blades, some old injuries. But um, just to give you a sideways look, here we go. So you can feel the pressure when you put your head back breathe into this area and just sort of open it up. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. No idea we were going here. So, that's good. That's good. Gentle, gentle, gentle. You know, you listen to your body. If it lets you do something, go for it. If it doesn't, then hold back. You know, every day is different. No two the same, just like us. And while my legs don't feel super strong today, 
Although, actually, this sounds funny. This feels like a good little exercise here. This is about what I can do. So I'm going to do it. It's just a gentle little... There. Just to there. I know. It looks funny. It's not very much, but... I don't, I don't want to stress my body. I want to use what I have, and that's what I have today. Huh. Interesting, isn't it? Every day we learn something new. I mean, look how much I've learned about my body today. <clears throat> the shoulders wanting to open, my chest wanting to open, inhale this beautiful air, my legs taking care of themselves, um, preserving what they have, strengthening what they have. So we're going to stop with that and go grab ourselves a big glass of water and uh, get on with our day. Ah, feels good. Okay, talk to you later, you guys. And bye.